Yo, what up, man? It's your boy Chris. Somebody, if you checking in, man, Jonah vs. Gutta and Rum Nitty vs. Themes to Fire Battles dropped on URL. Yo, URL really been cooking lately with the battles they've been putting out, going back to these one off settings. Prep and Saga, Jonah vs. Gutta, Rum Nitty vs. Themes, even the Bonnie Godaba one round battle was decent as well. So, definitely looking forward, man, to Rookies vs. Vets. I think that shit is going to be one of the best cards on URL this year. So let's just get into this battle, man. I got this battle, Jonah 3-0. First round, Jonah won clearly in my opinion. Gutta had a good first round. He just didn't have no haymakers. He had no haymakers in round one. Jonah had a pretty good first round. The ship on my shoulder, like government tracking. The Christ comes back and rise again line was nice. Definitely had a good first round, man. I got him one in the first round pretty easy. The second round, second round, Gutter was pretty decent. The Jada Pinkett, You'll Swallow a Smith was nice. The gun so big, it actually exists, was also nice. So uh, what else he had in that round? Um... He had like a recipe scheme that was also pretty nice, a, a recipe line that was kind of nice. The flow lawless, my boss flawless, and the bitches say I got astonishing good looks. I leave the stage to crowd praise like, yo, that shit you spit was astonishing. The looks. Yeah. <laughs> and I promise you niggas ain't riders, them vaginas is shook puss. If I shoot shit out you, the recipe when they see the meal will remind them of cookbooks. But you cannot sleep on Jonah's second round. I know it was a real talk round. A lot of niggas are tired of real talk rounds, including myself. To be real with you, like you just don't know, man, how many niggas send me battles after battle after battle. And I may not put them in the description box. I may not review them or nothing like that, but I watch a lot of battles. I just watched a battle the other day, J Legs versus Show Off. I don't know if y'all saw that battle. This nigga did a whole real talk round. That just lets you know just how many people are doing real talk rounds. So don't talk to me about being real, Show Off, because you want to know something about me, my nigga? Being real a few years ago, my nigga, I was fucked up. I lost my crib, my plug, my job, my whip, and my bitch was running around Charlotte, North Carolina, doing anything I had to do to keep food in my mouth. But Ever since Verb, Cortez, Loaded Lux, all these niggas kind of made that shit popular. We started to see a lot of people do real talk rounds, Big Cannon, Oops. Joe and I had a nice second round, Peter, Paul, Pyramid, Slaves, the whole nine. You got to really know your history to really know what he was talking about. He was spitting some shit. So I gave him the second round, but I'm going to keep it real. I can tell how some people may not really like his round because honestly it didn't really have a lot of punches and those real talk rounds are getting kind of old. You know what I'm saying? He was able to pull it off. Even Jay Legs, who I just showed you a clip of, was even able to pull it off. But yo, everybody is doing real talk thirds, man. Every fucking body. Niggas send me battle after battle and that's like all I see. Niggas be like, yo, what you know about when you want to make a sandwich and you got bread and peanut butter but you don't got no jelly? See, you had jelly growing up, my nigga. See, I ain't have no motherfucking jelly. What you know about that? What you know about when you want some toast, but you don't got no toaster? So you got to put your bread in a broiler at the bottom of the oven just to get it to toast. What you know about that? And then you wait too long and the shit burn. What you know about that, my nigga? See, you had a toaster, my nigga. What you know about when you got cereal, but you don't got no milk and you got to use water? Water and cereal. What you know about that? See, my nigga, you had milk. 2%. Carnation. Half and half. You had milk, my nigga. We didn't have milk growing up. You think I'm going to come to this battle and lose after all the shit I've been through? You think I'm going to lose, nigga? See, I'm a real nigga. I've been through the struggle, nigga. I'm a real nigga. You got to wake up, nigga. Wake up. Wake up. talk rounds everybody is doing them but i still gave joan out a second round man i thought his round was a little bit better gutta third round gutta had a nice ass third round i'm gonna be real he had definitely had a nice ass. to me that was the best round of the battle from him they was kind of neck and neck going into the third round gutta had a nice third i thought he was gonna end up winning it joan i came back with another fire third and then i catch you at the red light and knife you and you can tell your girl that you got stuck in traffic that line pretty much did it for me, man. I gave Jonah the third round as well. I got the battle 3-0, man. So y'all let me know what y'all think. I don't think Gutter got bodied or no shit like that. I just think he got outclassed. I'm really interested to see which rookie on Rookies vs. Vets Part 2 is going to be willing to battle Jonah. Because he, he is going to fuck up somebody if they put him with the wrong opponent. And I really think some niggas going to duck him, dog. To be real with you, I really think somebody going to duck him. I was trying to sit back and think who would be the perfect dude to battle him. And I couldn't really think of like who URL uses a lot. Cause you can't get nobody like Hitman, Tay Rock, Surf, Goods. You know what I'm saying? You know who I think a match up well with Jonah for real? Like on, on some pin game shit? Big Cannon. 
I really think Big Cannon could. I know they don't really book Big Cannon a lot, but I really think that he could because his pin game, he's kind of like got that preacher shit going on too where he do them real talk rounds. I think he could match wits with Jonah pretty good. But most dudes, man, that just kind of like performance heavy, he gonna end up fucking him up bar wise. So I don't know who's gonna battle him, rookies versus vets first part two, but I definitely feel like he will probably be on the car. So be looking out for him, man. Um, that's what I got about that. Rum Nitty versus Steams. Yo, this was another crazy battle, man. You know what I'm saying? I talked to Beasley probably months ago, and I asked him, would Rum Nitty ever be on URL? And he said he didn't think so because he sounded very close to, to be Magic. And he was like, I don't know if I want to bring him over to the platform. So it was kind of good that URL moved out west. And Rum Nitty was able to get on a card. Maybe we can even get Danny Myers on a card if they're going to be doing this. Because you know Rum Nitty didn't sign a contract. So... I'm pretty sure Danny Myers isn't either, so maybe Danny Myers can get on one of these URL West cars as well. But as far as this battle, I got a 3-0 Rum Nitty as well. I just thought Steams was good. Honestly, man, it's the best Steams I've ever seen. This was the best Steams I've ever seen. I went into this battle and I was just like, yo, Rum Nitty is going to win this easy. But this was the best Steams I've seen and one of the best Rum Nitties I've seen. I just saw Rum Nitty at Gladiator School and he lost to Rex pretty easy on some mixtape bars. You know what I'm saying? So... It wasn't really that he didn't have no shit. It's just that Gladiator School was a bigger platform and he was kind of hard to control the room. I didn't really feel like he projected himself well and Rex just kind of took advantage of that whole stage. Round one, Steams had a pretty good round one. The bang drums over your body, a student body line was nice. But he stumbled in the first round. It wasn't nothing crazy, but he did stumble. Rum Nitty first round, he had the Amber Rose line, um, the cakes. Uh, Amber Rose line was nice. He also had the bank the book of the bang hammer shit the fucking misery line Yo, I grew up on misery. You know what I'm saying? That was one of my favorite movies and books to read when I was coming up So I definitely related to that line. I definitely gave rum nitty the first round two I also gave to uh, rum nitty man the, the round the globe notification line your girl I'm owner like at a Mavericks game oh, that line was crazy my nigga that line was nice um, so I definitely gave round two to Rum Nitty. Steams comes back. He has the Rumple Steel Skin line, which was dope. Pull the metal till I hit something like a slot machine was also a nice line that Steam said. Steam's third round was really, really good. I kind of felt like the third round was a toss-up. I gave the first two to Rum Nitty, but I felt like the third round was a toss-up. You can give it to Nitty and give him a 3-0, or you can give it to Rum Nitty and make it 2-1, but I felt like Steens was definitely on his shit in the third round. But my favorite line from Rum Nitty came in the third round when he did the whole MJ shit. Like, you playing sick. You can get the 38 for playing sick. That line was crazy. That's my favorite line of the battle. And you definitely, I think at the, by the end of the year, man, when we putting up top lines or top bars of 2015, this line will be one of those bars that's... A, that um, people are gonna be looking at like, yo, this shit was crazy. I don't play that shit. I don't play that shit. You don't get 86. I keep the time in the shotgun like the Patriots. I'll show you how this can do. Light a cake, nigga. Make a wish. You Jordan in the flu game. You get the 38 playing sick. Um, and maybe even a Jonah line might be. The stuck in traffic line might be another one that, that was nice. So it's been a few battles that we didn't watch, man, where niggas didn't really had good lines already. Yeah, but that's what it is, man. Rum Nitty 3 0 or 2 1. Either one I'm cool with. That's my personal opinion. I feel like sometimes even when you lose, you still can kind of win. And I don't really know how people looked at Steams coming off the Prez Mafia battle, but this battle definitely got him back on the map. I know he wasn't on Rookies vs. Vet, but he was able to get a one-off with Rum Nitty, so the shit still worked out anyway, and he'll probably be on Rookies vs. Vets too. So good luck for both of these dudes, man. Shout out to the Facebook group, Unbiased Review. Holla at your boy. Let me know what y'all think, man.